my sweet girl over here isn't feeling the best. Um, so she's been getting a lot of rest and medicine and such. So we are kind of sort of taking it easy around here. Um, I read a couple of picture books to her and we're going to grab some books from our library pile and I'm going to make her a comfy little spot in mommy's bed and she's got oils <laughs> on her wrist and on her neck. Yeah. So I'm going to let her hang out and relax. It is a rainy day. We're going to get her better. And um, I'm going to get her all set up in my room so that I can get back to the boys. So let's grab some books, okay? I grabbed this one. We read this one this morning. This one is super cute, you guys. Perfectly Norman. Um, you want to do the pet dragon? Okay. <laughs> These are the ones we grabbed. I'll show you when we get to the room. Kendall is taking care of his quiet reading time for the morning. Four minutes. Just, four minutes. Just let me get her together. Because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of a I really want to be writing my story. <laughs> okay. Cameron is taking care of his quiet reading time. Looking forward to writing. What page are you on? 70. Okay. That's good progress. I'm coming, Vienna. Okay, back to the baby girl. We go birth home. Chapter 29. The other children. So we are currently supposed to be switching our focus from our quiet reading time to working on planning for our math boot camp. But this one wants to keep reading <laughs> this guy is ready to help me plan some math boot camp right cam yeah i'll be right back and i'm just gonna let this kid keep reading okay kendall mm -hmm. <laughs> this is my current situation getting ready to start planning for our math boot camp which is going to be next week probably will last for a few weeks actually so um, I started planning a bit and now I'm going to have Cameron join in so he can look at some of the things that I've gone over. Uh, some of the things will be a surprise and some of the things will be things that he had in on. That way I can ensure that he's excited about it. Typical way of saying it is that you have five square 